Hey guys, KRX TV here, another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Digimon Crossfire Series 10, Decadramon from Digimon Crosswords. Decadramon is a cyborg Digimon whose attacks include Decadralauncher, Smoky Fang, and Heavy Tail Hook, and who is a member of Blue Flare. So this includes two things, Decadramon and one Digi Memory. So Decadramon is this mostly brown, armored, Algar-like Digimon. Now while it might look almost entirely robotic, it, you can tell that it's a cyborg because it has a little bit of slush sticking out on its legs. Taking a look at the head, we can see painted in red eyes, a little bit of green detailing, the jawline, and some smoke exhausts on its lower jaw. Moving along to the rest of the body, you can see that it looks like it was made by a military force as it has missile launchers on its back and tank treads on both its legs and its tail. And it also has more exhausts on his rear legs. On the tail you also have this gunmetal gray piece with some spikes and a little green tip here. Now though it is armored, it still has a bit of a alligator look to it, as it has these layered ridges like an alligator scales. Along the body is pretty plain, but you can see that they did only paint the parts that are supposed to be the treads and left these parts in the middle untouched. Now articulation wise, one of the weird things is that you can see that the uh, jaw, at the jaw there is a seam, but when it's, when the head is attached like this, you can't actually articulate the jaw, which is definitely a strange part of that, and the only other art articulation it has is only there for the change of transformation. But with that articulation, you can change it to another mode. So do that. Fold for the legs and fold out the missile launchers to make Decadramon float mode. In this mode, you can travel across bodies of water with passengers on its back. And with these open, you can see that the scaling and layers continue a little bit more up the body and end right here. And so now we can Digi Cross, Mel Greymon, and Decadramon to make Decker Greymon. So to do that, you want going to start by taking Decadramon apart into a few pieces. Detach the head and the tail piece. Then move the parts in the same way that makes float mode and split the body into two pieces. Then take Mel Graymon's legs and spread them out a little bit like this. And you're going to attach these pieces onto the legs. And you're going to flip them around and then clip the ankles onto these parts here. And line up this piece here so that's aligned with the leg armor. Then close it up like that. And do the same on the other side. Then move the legs back in. And raise up Mel, Graym Mel Graymon's by a little bit. Just like so. Then take the tail piece and clip it onto the head right here. Take the jaw and move it all the way back like this. Then clip it onto the right arm. So just getting it into frame. 
There you have Degra Greymon. Its special attack is Placa is Plasma Degra Drill Launcher. So uh, Degra Greymon isn't much of a change from Metal Greymon. And in fact, I kinda think well, rather in my opinion, I think that the designers at Bandai kinda screwed themselves over when they decided to uh, split Metal Bird Run into so many pieces to make Metal Greymon because it really doesn't leave really didn't leave much of the buy left for uh, modification. With the only parts available to cover up are the ones that are in this combination being the right arm and the feet. That being said, it now gains some additional firepower from the arm cannon and from the missile launcher on its legs. Though something that's kind of a shame is that there are no wheels of any kind on the treads down here. So you can't really roll around, all you can do is kind of slide it around. And that's not quite as cool. And of course, if you want to, you can also uh, bring forward the rest of its cannons for its full po for its full arsenal. Just like so. The included Digimemory is War Greymon, a mega level Digimon who first appeared in Digimon Adventure and who is the highest form of the original Agumon. Its attack is Gaia Force, known in the US as Terra Force. So we can test that out. Just like so. And there we go. So as far as Degadramon goes, it's not, you know, on its own it's not too great. And one thing that's kind of a shame is that for the sake of the Digicross, it has to be majorly downscaled because in fact, Degadramon is actually a very big Digimon bigger than any other of the Digimon on the Blue Flare and basically the biggest Digimon of the good guy teams. So, you know, if they hadn't put so much of Mel Bergmon into Mel Greymon, there might have been some room left to, well, a little bit more room for upgrades like Decker Greymon. That being said, Decker, Gray Decker Greymon does look pretty cool. As you know, the whole thing of Mel Greymon is basically its firepower, and so with Decker Greymon it gets even more firepower. I guess as far as design goes, you know, really the only thing I could have wanted for it was some wheels of some kind so they could roll it along. And so in the end, I can only really recommend Degardramon if you already have Greymon and Mel Birdramon, because on its own it just doesn't do enough. So, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and check out my channel for more videos. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.